Traditional geothermal um, uh, in, is what people might call hydrothermal power generation. And the idea is you look for a place where there is hot water underground close to the surface. So you don't have to drill very deep. And when you drill, you get to a, a big reservoir of hot water. And then you pull the water out to extract the heat, use the heat to make electricity. Um, and typically in a closed system, then you pump the water back in, so you cycle it through. Over time, you actually then essentially draw down the heat in the res reservoir, and at a certain point after 30 or 50 years, the heat may be depleted. You might then have to let it sit for a decade or two or more to, to replenish the heat. Um, but the interesting thing about geothermal, as you said, if you drill deep enough, it's hot. It's hot down there. And um, in fact, a colleague of mine, Dan Riker, likes to say that if the, the big dig in, in Boston had been um, vertical instead of horizontal, we could be running a, a, what's called an enhanced geothermal system today. The idea with enhanced geothermal is you drill very deep, say somewhere between three and 10 kilometers, and get to an area where it's quite warm, several hundred degrees centigrade, and then fracture the rock to create a space where you can then inject water and then cycle that water through to extract the heat. And this is an idea that's been tried, I, I would say, at small scale, but has not yet been demonstrated at large scale, and I think is a very attractive possibility. Um, it's not a silver bullet, but if it can be made to work at reasonable cost, um, it has the potential to provide clean power virtually anywhere in the world. Um, and furthermore, unlike solar and wind, which are intermittent, it's power that's, that's there 24 by 7, so you don't have to worry about storage and, and so on. One of the key issues is how much it costs to drill. And drilling deep is, pretty, is, is quite expensive. Um, for the oil and gas industry, they're willing to do that because what they extract is so valuable. Um, for geothermal power production, the, what you extract over the life of the, the well that you've drilled is not as valuable as what you would get out of a productive oil field. So you've got to make the drilling much cheaper. So we've invested in a company called Potter Drilling, which is working on drilling technology that could cut the cost of drilling dramatically. Um, we've also invested in a company called Alterock, which is basically a, a project development company looking at, at actually building enhanced geothermal projects where they will um, crack the rock, inject water, and use that to extract the, the heat.